Hey, Soul Tribe, I'm Kamala Devi. And today I wanna to talk about temple culture. What is it and how do we live it? So I'm gonna explore a little bit about what it is for me. And uh, if you resonate, you know, see if you wanna join me. And I also thought I'd contextualize it in um, this, this moment in time. You know, we happen to be on the new moon and it's this unique window. Uh, I think everybody knows the veils are thin in October, you know, post uh, Samhain, which is a pagan high holiday, right? Between the um, equinox and the solstice. It's like the midpoint. So we're headed towards the, um, the winter solstice. And it's an interesting time because it tends to, lean now and accelerate towards the holidays, which for some people are very, you know, very um, beautiful family and spiritual times. And for other people, it's very like consumerism and capitalism. And I know with um, Thanksgiving coming up, <laughs> it can be like a day of gluttony and gratitude. Um, oftentimes, uh, especially with Black Friday, when the shopping starts and then it's just the holiday shopping season, uh, I like to, when I can, I like to leave the country. I, um, I find that the, the consumerism is, you know, different in different parts of the, parts of the world and uh, not all of us can travel at this time. So I do think wherever you are in the world, it's a really good time to go inward and to reflect. You know, it, Samhain is called Witches New Year's for a reason. And there's a kind of a new cycle that happens. Uh, and unlike the Gregorian calendar's New Year's where you can set your, your goals and your to-dos and your like aspirations, the witch's New Year's is a time to really start working in the spirit world and on the, you know, the subtle invisible realms. And so this is a big part, you know, of temple culture, like what what it is not only connecting ourselves to the cosmos and what's happening um, with, you know, with the planet as it moves through its cycles, uh, but the land and the guardians of the land and temple culture. And I'll say, you know, like obviously there's many kinds of temples and what I'm speaking to is this modern, um, the temple arts, which are, you know, often doorways to sexual shamanism and um, sacred sexuality, and also, uh, you know, deeper esoteric teachings. And there's a lot of, you know, confusion, understanding, like misconceptions, I'll say, misunderstandings about it, because, you know, even as I sit here and try to say, hey, let's have a conversation, I'm putting words on the ineffable. Like there's so much that we try to talk about or transmit that can't be grokked like of the mind and has to be in the body. And so many of the, um, you know, transmissions in the temple are experiential. You know, they must be, um, breathed and vibrated <laughs> in order to realize, oh, that's what you're talking about. Uh, so, you know, I'm not going to um, use a lot of words to describe it, but I will say that there's an important distinction because there's all kinds of beautiful, you know, yogic and meditative contemplative paths that take people in the ascendant route to really almost transcend, you know, the, the body and, and this you know, this is our first temple, the body itself. And temple culture is incomplete if it doesn't include all the senses, if it doesn't fully embrace, you know, the body. And, you know, and there is something more than that, more than just like, okay, I'm gonna go off to an ashram or sit on a mountain and realize, you know, even an embodiment practice, because what we're doing is transcending the personal, the individual. Uh, and that's often access to the group soul. So the alchemy of the temple work that I've been doing, not just with ISTA, uh, for those of you that don't know, 
the International School of Temple Arts has uh, various um, sacred lands that are activated doing these practices around the world. And uh, we have, you know, a variety of like experiences and transmissions. So I'm a lead faculty for the International School of Temple Arts. And that's a great opportunity if you're like, okay, I, I, you know, I'm attracted to what you're talking about. And, and I don't, and I want to take it deeper than this does a great doorway to that. Um, and also uh, there's a, like a sister mystery school, Haydn in New Zealand that has these immense uh, temple trainings, these six week deep uh, emerge, like uh, immersive um, ex explorations. And I will mention Haydn's lineage because um, we will be doing a 10 day intensive in Costa Rica at the end of this month. Um, and so I'm, I'm preparing for that. That's part of the inquiry. The reason I've been asking like, what is temple culture to me? And I'm in the, um, the event horizon before that experience. And as I really tune in, uh, it can't be done alone. You know, I live uh, in a beautiful home in San Diego and it, there's all kinds of self pleasure practices that are kind of foundational, but part of accessing the group soul, you know, is deeply devoting yourself in connection with others. You know, there's something about coming together as group where this holy third emerges. Um, and that will take us out of the personal soul and into like the group soul. And then from there, we can start to tune in and listen to the land and have access to, uh, you know, wisdom and magic that's not available alone. So, um, you know, and I do celebrate, like I'm a deep solo, like solitary practitioner in my own uh, magic, but I, mm, I find that there's an alchemy that, that can't be accessed unless it's in a coven, unless it's in concert with other souls. And so, you know, what this temple intensive is, it's not an introduction. Like if you want an introduction to this, definitely come, you know, to one of the ISTA events around the world. But this um, Costa Rica exploration that we're uh, preparing for is for those of us who feel that this is our soul's purpose. Like, okay, great, I've had the experience and I want to live it in my life. And I want to guide that for others. I want to lead the community with these tribal technologies, with these practices, rituals, ceremonies. Yeah, so there's, you know, 10 day exploration where we get to be by the beach in Costa Rica and like, you know, make altars and give our bodies to the land and, and use our bodies as you know living altars and to just really truly see what comes through. And that's all in the context of this landing the temples in the Americas, like awakening the Americas, because a lot of this, as I mentioned, is happening in New Zealand and sacred sites around the world. Um, but what about landing temples that are intentional and are grounded and are you know, here for sustainable or even regenerative uh, relations, you know, with the lands. So these are some of the, uh, the visions. These are kind of seeds, like a little um, taste of the seeds of what's calling me and I have an amazing team. Um, I will tag them and I will um, ha be happy to, you know, put you in touch with them if you feel resonant with this vision and if you can join us like this is a great <laughs> great time to have a conversation and you know see what we need to do to get you there and if and if it doesn't line up this time you know i'm i'm offering a year long love leadership and doing deeper work to bring templing you know locally wherever you are in the world uh, temple culture is accessible through this deep devotion to the, the, the soul of the world, you know, as we transcend our own individual soul, and then we become emanations of the world's soul, and we work together to manifest that. It, 
on earth, which is really, in short, <laughs> it's really, the essence is bringing heaven on earth. You know, so if that's what you're here for, that's what I'm here for, you know, then I'd love to connect. Okay, I look forward to crossing paths soon. Blessings.